Hello friends, how are you all? Friends, I'm planning to create a series of video on Umbraco so that I can teach you how you can build a CMS website using Umbraco. So in this video, I will show you how you can install Umbraco 8 and set up the site in your local IIS. If you don't have any idea on Umbraco, I will suggest you Google and read more about Umbraco. But in short, Umraco is simply open source CMS that allow you to build your website uh, so that you can manage your content in the website. Simply like uh, the image, text, video, etc. Also friends, Umraco is soon releasing Umraco 9 which will be a major release as it will be, uh, it will be running in .NET Core. I have been working on 7 and 8 and they were all running on .NET Framework. So Umbraco 9 will be a major version of Umbraco. Uh, we won't dig more on Umbraco 9 on this video, but in future I will share, make a video on Umbraco 9. In this video, let's focus on Umbraco 8 only. So without wasting any time, let's start this video. So guys, first uh, we need to create a new project in Visual Studio. So I already opened the Visual Studio. So let's uh, create a new project uh, and let's choose SP.NET Framework. Yeah, .NET Framework. Next, and choose the part. Uh, let's call the project name first. Uh, let's say Learn Braco Eight. And let's set the part. Uh, I will save it on the drive. Learn Braco Eight. Select folder and create. And let's select MVC. Uh, maybe select empty. Create and let's wait okay okay the first step is to install the Braco CMS and you get package so let's select project name is nuget make sure your package source is all and select Umbraco CMS. So you can see a bunch of Umbraco CMS over there. Version 8 up to version 7, 6, 4. Uh, but we will go with the latest one 8.14.0. Click install. Uh, this will take a couple of minutes. Oh, nice super quick today good uh, let's click ok I save and it will install Umbraco 8 CMS package in our project hmm nice So it's still installing, so let's wait. Okay, so once it finished, we will get this message. Hmm. So we need to build the solution. And run. Run without debugging, okay. <coughs> mm. 
do, 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 do. so it will run the video. So let's put the name, sends, email, let's call it dummy, does a cherry, gmail.com, password, you can put anything, uh, I'll just say one, two, three, four, five, keep me update, at least 10 character long, okay, six, seven, eight, uh let's say something sends it one two three four five and if you click customize uh let's say continue you can choose the database type like uh, you can choose sql server azure or even the custom string for for this video i'll just use sql c continue and we have an option here in like we can either choose you know like a vanilla version without you know like any start starter website if you want that then click no thanks but i will choose the install starter website so that i can show you what you can do in umbraco so i will choose install starter website and this will again take a couple of minutes so let's wait. Okay, once uh, you finish the installation, you will see this uh, message like "Welcome to Draco." You can click start to then see, but we will ignore that. And since we have selected a starter starter you know like a website and like then it will give you you know like a startup package where you can see uh, there is a home node and there is a product people and some some content over here hmm right so let's view the website So the website will be simply that and you can see a simple website that is built in Mraco CMS. So you can see in the home we got some you know like text and we can all you know like manage this content from cms so if you're logging into the cms we use dummy purchaser at gmail.com and the password was sunzi12345 not now click so in the home as you can see in the home you can see it's a header this is the main header for the hero and home page uh, right Marco demo let's change something so let's say learn Marco add <coughs> save and publish refresh and you can see this title it has been changed we can we can also change you know like those uh, description from here same thing as the header and and there are so many things that you can change you know like in the header footer so we won't go in deep you know like uh, how those pages are built because uh, we will uh, discuss uh, more on those things in 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 the next video so in this uh, video i will simply show you you know like uh, how how we can install it and how we can host this site in is so at the moment you can see we are running the site in is express so if you stop you know like um is express it won't work so 
our first task is uh, complete like we install the Umbraco 8 our next task is to you know like host this same site in IIS so let's do that so for that you need to create a website in IIS so I open my IIS in an in, in IIS click at website and keep some name I will say learn Mraco 8 and the part will be the part where you install the site so it's in a div div learn Mraco and click OK and you can keep some host name I'll say learn Umbraco 8 local host. Click OK. And if you click now, you will see your site will be now running on IS with this domain name. If you want to change uh, that domain name to something else, you can do that. Not a big deal you just need to change uh, you just need to you know like uh, uh record fail to boot if you are on or reset let's see love pass for more details so guys you can see we have an error um record fail to boot if you are the owner of the website please see the log file for more details okay so when we run the site in Visual Studio through IS Express, we didn't get any uh, any any kind of error like this. But when we host it in IS, we get that error. It is because when you run your site through IS Express, you will have all the you know like permission that is required to run run the site. So if you go to the folder where you have installed to Umbraco 8 in in my case this is uh, non Umbraco 8 so we need to make sure that uh, there is enough you know like permission in this folder so go to properties and security and in user yes in user you need to give a full control permission so that when you run the you know like cms it get enough permission to access that folder so click edit give full permission apply and and now refresh So this is uh, one of the very important step that uh, you you should not uh, miss. You know, like uh, when you are set up in your site in IS. So now you can see your site is now running, and I I really don't like this domain name. So let's change that domain. So log into the CMS, and let's change the domain name to something meaningful so to, to do that we just need to log into the CMS and we need to go to we need to go to home click culture and host name and let's oh sorry Go to culture and host name and let's delete that local host to lonumraco8.com.au and save. Now, if we run this site, you'll see this error because uh, you need to point this domain in your host name. So, open the host host file and make sure you point this domain name <coughs> well, I think I already point that wait 
yeah sorry so you need to also bind it on the is so edit change it to lonely.com now this will bind this domain name and now if you refresh you will see your site is running perfectly with this domain name so yeah so easy so friends in this video as i show you how you can uh, install omraco 8 using visual studio and how you can easily host your omraco site in your local is so in my next video i will uh, i will show you what is document type and what is data type and how we can use those document type and data type uh, to create a different type of node something like uh, this home product people where you can see uh, using this different document type we are storing different type of information so we will talk more about those things in my next video and if you like this video please uh, like this video subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching see you bye